going folks we are over here in the hanover mass reptile expo last vending the last expo of the year we got bert the toke gecko hanging out a couple of ambassadors and today this we're gonna go see a bunch of stuff i thought this was a very small expo but it turns out it's actually uh, very large so let's go see what some cool stuff i can find at the show all right folks we're over here with andy probably the most exciting thing you guys are going to see today cleaning up snake poop all right, Andy, what, what's the proper stuff here? How, how do we get this job done? It seems a little complicated. First, I'm going to put it on the table, chop it up into a small line, mm -hmm. snort it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's, how you, that's how you sell those reptiles, huh? Yeah. Oh, he's actually... Don't put this on the internet. Be All right, this, so educate me, my man. This now, animal right here is called Scolopendra galapagoensis. They are found on the Galapagos Islands and also the northest parts of South America. They grow to be the third largest centipede in the world. And they have several different color variants. So. And we're gonna need the common name for my smooth brain viewers. So, Scolopendra galapagoensis also goes by the Amazonian giant centipede, but they don't live in the Amazon. So the name just doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make sense. But it's a pretty cool thing. Is that what the Robusta was? It's mine I thought were Robusta? giant Galapagos centipede. All right, now get bit by it. Robusta just means robust, you know? But Robusta's not even, so this is called Scolopendra Galapagoensis Robusta. I'm talking about common names. Babe, common names make no sense for these, so you can't use them. You can't use them. They're like robusta is it's, it's false. It's not a real thing. You know, for real though, this is why the tarantula and invert community is so small. They only use scientific names. It's their downfall. Because you like to call everything by like what, what did I say before? Stripe legged. Stripe legged weedle peck. Yeah, man. G ear. Arenkai Waddleman. Yeah, Metallica, that's easy. Meat, okay, the Metallica. That's easy. That's a big I got the Metallica one. What is that, a cobalt? Robusta, like robust, uh, Megamorphema robusta means robust legs. The back legs of them get really robust. Alright, all right, but what I'm guys, saying is. It's just a common name, saying, but it's in a different language. No! It's, yes. Yeah. Just call it robust legs. That's it. Good to go. But no, they gotta have M. Rubuston. So Megamophema, that's the that's the genus, that's the fam. You know what the thing is? So I just Megamophema, Latin, Latin. No, I no. Here's a perfect example. I just started learning about snakes. I know nothing about snakes. I'm gonna start calling everything but by the scientific I learned that name, but boa was the genus, and I, that never clicked to me because I just hear the common name. So I didn't know that was a Latin name. Look at that. You learned the Latin name. It helps and you understand, you like understand the stuff. It helps you understand like the families and the lineages to animals, you know? Absolutely. Personally, yes. I would never know that because I don't know any of these animals. Unfortunately, 
I never passed high school, so I will not be learning the Latin names. Like you, like you feel me? But I commend you, sir, on learning these complicated phrases. It's not! Like, Dude, you know when you take a that time you take a shit, Lica? instead of looking at your phone, <laughs> look at the Latin name. Irhening? Like... Erenkai, and you just sound them out, dude. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Bony. Hey folks, I'm over here with Zen Habitats. As you guys know, I love these products and I've been working with them for like three years now. So tell us why Zen Habitats is the best enclosure oh company my God. ever. Hey Zen friends, so they are amazing. Let's start with aesthetic. These are so aesthetic. These will go so nice in your reptile room, in your living room, anywhere. Um, but Casey, it's not black PVC. Why? Exactly, it's not black PVC. <laughs> we want incredible. <laughs> I know. We want it to look like furniture. This is what is going to be displayed in your home with these awesome display animals. It should look good, right? Um, right. Gone are the days of really weird-looking black cage enclosures. Now it's like a living room for your reptile. Absolutely. Zen habitats by today. Yeah, so she she um, surprised us. Um, her mother was pregnant, and we didn't know it. Um, and she was one of about 17 babies, and she was one of only three who survived. There were three survivors. One lived for another week, and then died mysteriously. And then her and her sister are still alive. Um, her sister is more than twice her size, though. Um, and learned how to be a snake a lot sooner than her did than she did. Um, but we are using her as an ambassador animal under a special education permit um, to tell the story about the Rio Negro aquarium fish fishery and the conservation outcomes that it brings to the area that's native yeah. habitat for species like her, the green anaconda. And the real interesting thing is How's it going guys? I'm jumping reptilian exotics here and I'm putting him on the spot. Quick, what's your coolest gecko? Oh, coolest gecko? Ooh. Honestly? I think I took your coolest. I did. It's either going to be this girl who comes from a nasty whiteout male, but she's got a lot of room to go. So you're going to get one? Alright, alright, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And yeah, I know. it's a little unorthodox, but I got carpets. That's cool. It's debatable. <laughs> You're lying to yourself. <laughs> Some ocelot jungle jag. But Richard, aren't carpet pythons mean? Yeah, they can be. I like them mean. They're a lot like me. But look at that beauty. So come on down to Reptilian Exotics in the next 50 minutes and claim <laughs> yours today. 
Well boys, another end to another day of an expo. Absolutely fantastic. Andy! Andy! Say bye to the YouTube. Bye YouTube! We'll see, you. we'll see you guys next time.